The Senate has appealed to international airlines not to withdraw their services while efforts are ongoing to resolve the current issues of blocked funds in the country. The upper chamber also urged President Muhammadu Buhari to direct the Central Bank of Nigeria to pay up the affected airlines. These resolutions followed a motion on the current issues on airlines and blocked funds in Nigeria, sponsored by Senator Biodo Olujimi and presented on the floor of the Senate by Senator Bala Nala during plenary. We discovered that a review of airlines blocked funds in Nigeria in the last six months shows an average month-on-month -month increase of $49.5 million dollars Further regrets that the consequence of these block funds are that cheap tickets are not available in Nigeria because taxes and inflation will have eroded the profit when the funds are kept for a very long time. That's change. It is not how to do something. We have airlines that are here that the Nigerian government should encourage and they will operate well, like the APs, like uh, uh, Acquire Air. These are reputable companies, and airline owners knows, airline owners knows that we are paying the most expensive ticket in Nigeria. We, we cannot continue in this manner to please these airlines. This is the most profitable route for British Airways, is the most profitable route for Lufthansa, is the most profitable route for a Ethiopian airline. This is a, 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 a killing for them. And every day they put pressure on our government to add more money and to give them foreign exchange. They are already charging us in the black market prices. So I deem to disagree with my colleagues that we should not, we should step down this. And I'd like to correct an impression. I don't believe this amount was inherited. The reason I would say so is that there was an intervention with the CBN on this issue in the past. And I remember we suggested to the CBN to dedicate the monies coming from diaspora remittances and use it to um, pay up these monies. So it can't be something that was inherited. And so is that your contribution? That CBN can dedicate that money from diaspora remittances. Because it was an international obligation we have to, to so international obligation we have with the airlines to remit the monies they, they, they have. We are also doing businesses in all of these countries. And I think it's, it's not very good for Nigeria and for our image for Nigeria to be owing or to not to be remitting monies when they are due, as at when due. Agent of any airline in this chamber. I also, I also want to say that not uh, airlines, anybody, any organization, any interest, any sentiment is free to come and lobby members of the National Assembly, whatever they have interest. It's for us to know the difference of what we are asked to do, whether these are good things for our country or not. But I think, um, even though it was said jokingly, but no agent only the single senators of the federal people are inside this chamber. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.